YouTube, what is going on? It is your boy Ron Real, aka Double R, back in the building, man. I know you see me with the same clothes on. I'm doing a double shoot. First one was the Padilla Sun Grown uh, Finest Hour Robusto. Not good, man. If y'all going on over and head over to watch that review I gave of that cigar that came in the Cigar International Cigar of the Month for September, wasn't really a huge fan, so I had to come back. I had to double up for you guys, man. I couldn't leave you on a bad note. So now we got one of my favorites, man. Uh, this is a La Flor Dominicana, or commonly called an LFD Capuchulo 2. This has a chisel head, which would be considered a figurado. So you'll see that that chisel head. And I'll show you guys a trick how to open these. We're gonna be doing a pairing today with Colonel Taylor Single Barrel. Another one of my favorite whiskeys, man, or bourbons, should I say. And uh, hey, man, this should be pretty good. So y'all stay tuned and hang tight. All right, guys, so like I was telling you earlier, we're gonna be smoking the LFD Capuchulo 2 or Spanish for Chapter 2. They also have a Chapter 1 cigar, which has a black band, but the difference is they're both uh, six and a half by 55, in, uh, 55 ring gauge. This is a box press chisel. As you see, it has that box press where it looks like a square and then it has that chisel head. Man, this, this, is, this is a beautiful cigar. We got tight invisible seams on this one. Uh, very minimal veins. This is a very, very good leaf. It smells like a smells like a tobacco box. Smell has that cedar smell to it. I'll give y'all the uh, density shot on it. If y'all can see that, it's very, very oily, man. This this has a very, very oily wrapper. These are always really good. I would put these definitely at a medium to full, leaning more towards the full. I've smoked a lot, a lot of these cigars over the years. I actually prefer this one over the chapter one. It doesn't seem to have as much of a pepper bite. This one has a Nicaraguan wrapper, a Ecuadorian Habano binder, and it has filler from the Dominican Republic. LFD is, is based out of Dominican Republic, so most of their tobaccos are from that region. So we'll uh, open it up and uh, We'll pair it with this Taylor Single Barrel Bourbon. It's bottled and bond, so when you see a bottled and bond product, that means that it is at least four years old and it was in a bonded warehouse. So, a bonded single warehouse. This is made by Buffalo Trace, which is probably my favorite distillery. They make all of my favorite products, man. So this, I'm, I'm really excited for this one. All right, so as I was explaining in my cigar one-on-one video, if you guys haven't watched it, be sure to check that video out. On the Figurados, when you have a chisel, they specifically designed this where you don't need a cutter to open the cigar, so I won't be needing this today. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So when you have a chisel head, I'm gonna close in so you guys can see me actually do this. So all that you really should do is take your fingers and, and push. You hear that pop? You remove this little outer band. That's it. No cutter. Now, some people do still do a straight cut on these, and I've seen people, uh, they pinch it and they punch it. I've seen people do both or double punches. It's just all preference. Me, I just, you know, they intended the cigar to be open like this, so that's how I do it, and the, literally the draw is perfect, so I'm going to leave it at that. cheap matches same thing as always man we're just gonna toast the foot up this is why I like matches man you can just take your time it's not not really a huge need to rush the name of the game is relaxation and enjoyment y'all are gonna hear me say that over and over again but it's true
Got a good light on it. See what we got. Man, that cigar I just had from Padilla was so terrible. Man, it was so bad that I'm really looking forward to this, man. It's That was mm, a waste of an hour. I apologize if you're a fan of Padilla cigars, but so far I'm not. It's just a, man, it's just, you hold this cigar, man, you know, you got your... Got your cognac or your bourbon, man. You sit there in the bar, or whatever, man. You look like a boss, man. It's just a, it's just a boss cigar. So far, just, just regular notes. So far, nothing is really coming out. Not a lot of sweetness. I would go a lot of earth. Uh, there's some wood notes there. A faint leather is there too. A faint cedar is in the background too. It's, this is starting off really good. Way better than my last one. Way better. So. All right, as far as the, the Taylor. So Colonel Taylor has a lot of offerings. The regular production stuff they have, they have the single barrel, they have the straight rod, and they have the small batch, and then they normally release a barrel proof once a year, sometimes twice a year. And then every year they'll do like a special offering, like they've done cured oak, seasoned wood, uh, four grain, just to name a few. They, 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 every year they normally release like a limited, really limited release. Show you guys the legs before I tell you about the nose. See what we got. I don't know. I mean, it says it's bald and bone, which, like I was telling you earlier, it means it's at least four years. I wouldn't say it's too much older than that. I would go maybe, maybe six, but let's see if you ever can see the legs on it. They're starting to show up a little bit. See them right there, really good. But right now, I'm going to have to let this open up a little bit. I'm just getting a lot of alcoholic heat or like a, a lot of fumes coming off of it. I can't really pick up any good flavor so far. Just alcohol. Mm. Vanilla is there. Like the flavor, the traditional flavors are there, but it's very faint because the alcohol is so so present and so for and so much in the forefront so i'm gonna let that sit for a little bit and nose it again and then i'll taste it and give you guys the rundown on it this cigar cost me i want to say 12 dollars at my local tobacco store you probably could find them a little bit cheaper online which you know normally i always say if you you know if you can find them online they're gonna be a little bit cheaper but I would not recommend this for a beginner either just because uh, LFD is known for making or blending stronger cigars. They're really good, but I, but you know, if you're just now starting to get your, get your beak wet, you're just trying to get your feet in the game, man. Like, I, you know, I probably would steer clear of this one. If you've been smoking for probably, I don't know, maybe a year or so, or you, you know, you've gravitated towards more strong, stronger blends and stuff like that. Definitely check this out if you have not. Well, we're just gonna finish up on the first third. I'll let this sit for a little bit longer and then uh, I'll get back to you guys and let you guys know what I think. So y'all hang tight. All right, so we're into the first third of the cigar. It's, flavors are really good, <clears throat> really traditional stuff. Um, I wouldn't recommend retro hailing through the first third. There is a lot of black pepper through the retro hail, retro hail but uh, during the normal draws, there's not really a lot of black pepper. I probably would put it at about a six and a half, maybe seven out of ten. Um, a lot of wood notes, earth, just a lot of earth tones. It's, it, but it's, it's very good. Um, unfortunately, I'm probably gonna have to 
I'm probably gonna have to touch this cigar up. The burn line's kind of getting a little wonky on me, so I, I want to touch that up before it gets too out of hand. So I'll do that here shortly. As far as the bourbon, I've let it sit here. It's been sitting now for about 15 or 20 minutes. The alcohol is chilled down a little bit. It's still definitely in the forefront, but now I can pick up some flavors. Getting definitely like the caramel vanilla, a little brown sugar in there. Like red fruits, like like red apples or cherries are definitely present. So let's take a take a sip. Mm. True to the nose. Some some wood notes, caramel. Like think of those little pieces of caramel that come in those little pieces of plastic. You take those out, it's got that caramel caramel taste to it. Uh, like a caramel apple kind, it's, it's really good. It's like a candied caramel apple, it's, it's pretty good. Not a lot of alcoholic burn on that. Not, you know, once you nose it, if you, you, once you first pour it in the glass and smell it, you're like, man, it's a lot of alcohol coming off the glass, but it, it actually doesn't taste as strong as it smells when you smell it like oh man that's that's gonna be kind of crazy but it's, it's not that bad so let's go ahead and touch this cigar before it gets a little out of hand because this is a good cigar man i don't i don't want to have to be battling a, a canoe the whole time so just touch it up a little bit i would highly recommend any of anything you see of lfd is is most of the time gonna be a, a very, very um, high quality product like the Capuchulo 2, the Chapter 1, the Lee Hero, the Double Lee Hero, the Colorado Oscuro, all that stuff is good. But again, I would recommend it to a person that is used to stronger cigars, used to black pepper, used to the earth tones. This isn't gonna be really creamy like a lot of Connecticut's. It's not gonna have caramel or any like sweetness. This is this is a this is a good clean old school cigar. Kind of reminds me a lot of like a Padron. It's just it's really good. So we'll take a draw and uh, we'll take a sip and see what we get. Ass just fell off. There's a bread quality coming out of the cigar now. Actually, kind of like a graham cracker, which tastes really, really good. This, this is good. So we're going to uh, keep going all the way through the end of the second, third. I'm going to keep uh, smoking and drinking and telling you guys if anything crazy happens or anything cool kind of pops up and, uh, yeah, man, y'all hang tight, and uh, I'll catch y'all in the last third. Well into the second third. Actually, probably about to head into the last third. Man, <clears throat> cigars performing beautifully. Got a nice chocolate flavor, intense chocolate flavor coming in, so I'm excited, man. This is, this is what it's all about. So the bourbon, cigar together, they're enhancing each other. There's no new flavors, but... It's just, man, it's a symphony. Of, it's a symphony of flavors. This is this is going good. This will score pretty high. Mm. This is what it's all about, right here, man. Premium cigar, premium spirit. Look at them legs on it. Look at them legs on it. Look at that. And yes, it is time for the marriage. As you guys know, just imparting the cigar and the spirit together, 
See if we can amp up this pairing a little bit, man. Forget about it, man. Get a little nick on that. Mm. Lovely, man. This is lovely. Mm. I see you guys at the end of this cigar, man. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this. These legs on this thing are crazy. I'm just look. They're just all over the glass, man. Look at that, man. I'll catch you guys in a little bit, man. I'm going to keep enjoying this drink and keep enjoying this cigar. All right. Probably got about another 10 minutes in this cigar, but still burning cool, so I'm probably going to end up nubbing this one out. Performed beautifully. The dram, the bourbon has been very, very good, too. Man, intensity of flavor showed, showed up in the second, third, I forgot to mention earlier, uh, the cigar was pretty, I would say medium body, medium strength until about the end of the second third, then it kind of, it went up slow. So now I would say finishing off, this is definitely probably a medium to full strength, medium to full body. This is a, a hundred proof bottled and bond monster. If you're not used to drinking um, higher power bourbons or, or higher proof stuff, I would recommend this. This is a good product to, to, to kind of get your feet wet. And um, <clears throat> wait, wait. I would recommend this bottle to get your feet wet. As far as the cigar, I probably would give this probably go 85, 8.5 out of 10 or 85 out of 100. As for the bourbon, I'm gonna go a little bit higher. I'll probably give this an 88 or 8.8 .8 out of 8.8 .8 out of 10 or 88 out of 100. So. You know, together it's not an elite pairing, but it's definitely very, very good. If I grab a Cappuccino too and I see this, this is gonna be a this is a lovely pairing. I'm feeling good, it's tasting good, everything is everything is hidden, dialed in. So hey, no complaints from me. So this has been the pairing with the LFD Cappuccino 2, the Colonel Taylor single barrel. Which before I end this video, I want you guys to know. They have a small batch offering, which is also very good. The difference between your small batch and your single barrel is the small batch is more a consistent flavor. If you buy a small batch at different stores at different times of the year, different years, the flavor profile is going to be pretty consistent. With single barrels, you might pick up some that'll be very, very good. Then you might pick up some, you'd be like, man, it tastes a little different. So that's, that's the only downfall of a single barrel that different batches and things like that they go they they can kind of taste different from bottle to bottle batch to batch but hey excuse me this bottle's been very very good this cigar has been very very good i want to tell you guys again thank you for watching the video don't forget to like this shit comment on this shit subscribe to this shit hit the notification bell hey we're gonna catch y'all on the next one